What is up, everybody? This is Eric, the one and only Bear Collector, and today we have a legendary game to review. One that is a very memorable game from my youth, as well as a game that I enjoy to this day to play every once in a while. And that game is Mike Tyson's Punch Out or Punch Out for the NES. Now, I don't have a copy of Mike Tyson's Punch Out. I used to own the original Mike Tyson's Punch Out. However, as you know, the years progressed and I lost some, you know, my games back in the days. I acquired the regular copy of Punch Out. But what's the difference? I will explain in a little bit. Now, Mike Tyson's Punch Out or Punch Out is a game that came out back in 1987. Well, the Mike Tyson one came out in 1987. But before that, it had come out simply as Punch Out in arcades or Super Punch Out as well. And it came out in Japan and they released it as a gold cartridge before releasing the Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. And that one in particular, the end boss is um, Macho Man, Super Macho Man or something like that. I can't remember. I can't recall. But that, that game was given to people who can, who, who um, finished a, a golf game or a some type of a golf game, video game. The, the winners of those in the tournament got a copy. I think they only made about 10,000 copies of that golden cartridge. Or, or less, give or, give or take 10, 11,000. However, they saw that that, was, that game was a, a pretty, was going to be a pretty cool game to uh, pull out and, and release into the, into the Nintendo. So they released it as Mike Tyson's Punch Out for the NES. That particular game, as Mike Tyson's Punch Out, has you as Little Mac out to gain world championships and, and world title, titles to defeat other other boxers and reach Mike Tyson and become the greatest boxing champion. Now, in that version of Mike Tyson, of course, you, you try to defeat Mike Tyson. In this version, it's a character just called Mr. Dream. And like I said, in the gold cartridge, I believe it was Super Macho Man or in the arcades. I don't remember from the, from the readings that I made. But in all reality is that this game was a success now why did it change to mike tyson from mike tyson to this title well a lot of people thought that it had to do with the controversy that was going on with mike tyson and his legal issues however that wasn't the case he only signed up for a three-year um a three-year contract to have the game out and then soon after that nintendo had to come out with regular punch out so they that's the main reason why the game changed to just regular punch out and yeah, so um, I believe the Mike Tyson punch out to be more expensive to own than this one. Um, but I'm not going to put this video as an expensive game to own. But yeah, very fun game. Um, one that I had so much hard time be defeating Mike Tyson back in the days when I was a kid. Very mem memorable game as well because of the fact that if you guys saw one of my previous videos, I made the game from Sega Master System Rocky. When I was young, I didn't have a Nintendo yet, but my cousins did. So at first we were playing Rocky, but then once one of my cousins had a Nintendo, um, he had Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, and the rest was history. I never looked back. I loved this game. It was one of my favorite games to play. So yeah, um, we ended up just playing Mike Tyson's Punch Out instead of Rocky, unfortunately. But yeah, I mean, you can see Rock the 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 not anything against the the Rocky name or anything about that. But I'm talking about more game wise Rocky to this, this to Rocky. You'll want to go to this. The learning curve and the and the the way you you move around and you control the character is much more smoother than in Rocky for the Sega Master System, in my opinion. However. There was a game that was released later, but this is a story for another day. But I'm just going to give you a sneak peek. You got the game Power Punch 2. Power Punch 2 for the Nintendo. As you can see, that ain't Mike Tyson. <laughs> this is a story for another day, but this is an interesting um, story in its own. But yeah, but th that one is very similar. This one's very similar to Punch-Out. But of course, Punch-Out became a staple. They, they got... Super Punch Out for the SNES, which I also own, and then Punch Out on the Wii. I own that one as well. So those are games that are very um 
interesting to to play and it's a series that doesn't get old it's a fun uh, of other boxing games that i've played and i played a couple not that many this one is the one that has the smoothest control and the smooth, smoothest gameplay um however it's very hard um as you can see in my gameplay i made it i always get knocked down by by the main that one that one guy, I think it was Tiger. I forgot his name. I'll put the name on the on the comments below or on the video. But I made it that far, and after that is because I just forgot the um, the combinations of how to defeat the the boss. <laughs> but I made it that far. But anyways, hope you guys enjoy the gameplay footage of the game. This one was very fun to talk about. A game from my youth that I enjoy to this day. Um, while I was doing the gameplay of the of the game. My my daughter happened to see me playing it and, and it fascinated her. She's like, what are you playing, daddy? And I'm like, oh, I'm playing Punch Out. And she's like, oh, cool. And she was looking at me, try to beat King Hippo. <laughs> and I finally remember the pattern. So, yeah, <laughs> that's it was, it was fun to visit this one. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy the gameplay footage of the game. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.
Thank <laughs> you.